Welcome to Crafty Hints. If you're new here, I'm Chantel, and today we'll be doing some tear tray items that were inspired by other DIYers. So I thought, I'll try that and give them the credit. In the description box will be a link to their video. So what I decided to do was do this craft that I originally saw on Pinterest. But last year, I saw Whitney from Whiskey and Wit do this also, and she made a garland with this. So all you got to do is grab a toilet paper tube. You know you have a couple laying around um, and just clip that down. Oh, this is a little over a quarter of an inch, between a quarter and a half an inch. As big as you'd want the brim of your hat, but you don't want it too thin, otherwise it'll be too flimsy. So just take this. I took like 12 inches of yarn and cut about 18 of them for this one. The thinner yarn, you'll want around 30. You just loop it around and just slip it through, just a little slip knot there. Super simple. Go all the way around. Make sure you pull it nice and snug and make sure that knot's on the same side each time. Pretty quick and easy, right? I like to make them, you know, something that you can do. This is a good one to sit back and watch a Hallmark movie. If you were going to make ornaments, you could do, you know, a couple different colors. I went to several Dollar Trees looking for the red yarn, but... I ended up with this white, so that was good enough. All right, one more, and I think that'll cover this well. So now I'll just go around, give them each a little bit of a tug all the way around. And then we're just going to push it back through the other side so that that nice finished edge will be the bottom brim of our hat or actually the top brim of our hat. But the bottom brim, you won't see that knot because you're pushing these back through. It just takes a moment. So just keep smoothing those out, pulling those nice and straight. It takes a minute or two, but not too tough, right? And once you get those all nice and straight, you're going to take one of those spare pieces of yarn and we're just going to tie that around the top. I think these are so cute and the possibilities are endless. You could do all different colors. You could do a pattern. You could braid a couple of pieces and you know make it like a cable knit sweater so many cute things that you could do with these so just get that nice and secure if you wanted to you could even you know put this like in a corresponding color and not that piece it could be your ornament hanger if you want to make an ornament out of it i'm just taking some tissue paper and sticking that inside to make it nice and full and that way it'll be able to stand up. So just tuck that in with your thumbs. Now to make the bottom of this, if you do want it to be an ornament, you'll take that toilet paper tube and trace it around on a piece of cardstock or cardboard and place that in there and just glue it. Now let's cut the top of that tassel off and let's have some fun. We're just going to give it a little bit of a haircut and make this pom-pom the cutest thing ever. So just kind of round this out, going a little bit here, a little bit there. Oh my goodness, these are so cute. So if you wanted to make it an ornament, you could feed through, you know, before you put the tissue paper in there, you could feed through the center all the way through the pom-pom, go right through the center with, you know, some, some other string or like wire or, you know, some of that silver or gold um, ornament hanger. You could definitely feed those through so that it goes right in the center so it doesn't tilt. Uh, but I think these turn out so adorable. Look at that. Oh, 
so cute. This is with a couple items that I have made. So I couldn't find that red that I wanted and I wanted to match those other mittens. So I took these kids mittens, I cut off the thumb and then I just cut off just below the thumb there and I'm going to use that as a top part of my hat. So I just put my toilet paper tube in there and I'm putting a little bit of glue just on the edge there. And I'm just tucking that in and around because we want a nice clean brim of this hat too. So I'm just tucking and gluing all the way around. I put this inside out. I don't know if you'd seen that. But now here I am turning it right side out. And look at that. You about have a stocking cap right there. How cute is that? Oh my goodness. It's like one of those polar fleece hats. Well, like these fleece mittens, um, it would match. So those pieces that we cut off the other pom-pom, I'm turning into the pom-pom for this. I've got a little bit of floral wire there. You could definitely take yarn, but I thought the floral wire would be good because it'll wrap it around here nice and tight. And then I can feed that through the top of the little beanie and so that um, it will just sit on there nice and tight. You could definitely hot glue this on top if you wanted to. I just wasn't sure how secure that would be or if the glue would show. So I thought I'll do this, give it a couple twists, and I'm gonna poke it. Well, I guess actually I'm gonna trim this off just a bit first. Start shaping that little pom-pom. Oh my goodness, it's so cute. What is it about pom-poms that just make you smile? All right, keep going around. Just keep rounding it just like we did the other one. And now just push it through and then flatten out that wire across the top. That helps secure it. And then when I push the tissue paper up against those, it holds it nice and firm. Just adding a little bit more tissue paper here. And the same thing, we could put a cardboard bottom on that and so that you know you wouldn't not the tissue paper wouldn't move if it, you turn this into an ornament but right now these are for my tear tray i will link those mittens that i made on another diy right above right here okay now the bottom of that other mitten was just about a hat already. I realized it had that elastic at the bottom to go around a child's wrist. And I'm like, oh my goodness, this is another hat right here. Waste not, want not, right? So clip this off. Might have been better for it with a little red piece of ribbon or something. But now all I'm doing is clipping the rest of that. You've seen that like on the polar fleece hats where they have all the strips up at the top to make the pom-pom. That was my inspiration here. So just continue to work on that one. Then we'll stuff some tissue paper in this one as well. And it's just that quick and simple for this one. Then I'm just going to fold up the edges to make the little brim there. And we're about good to go for this one already. Too cute. All right, for this one, Sonia over the Domestic Diva DIY did this one last year. It was She took one of these crates with some antique wax and just a baby wipe and just give that a quick little stain. So simple. I tend to get that antique wax under my fingernails pretty bad, so this time I took a disposable glove and just put it on one hand. And I went all the way around and then I also went inside a bit. 
Now, for this font, I use Stencilia from defont.com, so it's a free font. The neat thing about a stencil font is when you're weeding it, it pulls off all in one strip. I might actually use it as a stencil. That's the thing about stencils is those little lines usually hold in those other pieces, but with a stencil font, it does not. So there we are, just rub that on. Now you could use stencils, you could use other stickers, whatever you have on hand. If you have brilliant handwriting, you could do that too with like a white Sharpie or a white paint pen. I chose for that um, vinyl that time, I used a cream color vinyl just because I didn't think it would be real stark white if it's out there and weathered a little bit. Now I'm making some nail heads. I want to give this just a little bit more character. So at the end of each of those planks, I'm just putting two little nail heads. This is an Artisto paint pen. You could use a Sharpie. You could use paint with the back of your brush. You're creative. I bet you can figure out all different things that you could use just to make those little nail heads. And I just did that on both sides. Next, I'm going to measure this on some cardboard. I put that off the edge just a little bit because we do want this to fit inside that crate. So I'm just trimming this out. And then what I'm going to do is take four tumbling tower blocks and just set those in there. I don't need to glue them down. They're just going to sit in there. The cardboard will sit on top. I just wanted to raise this up just a little bit off of the bottom. And I thought the cardboard matched well. Now I'm taking six of these trees, so three packs of these bigger trees. They come with a taller and a medium sized one. So I just strategically placed those in here. And this just makes a cute little decor that you could set off to the side with like a candle next to it. Just a little, you know, brush of Christmas without the major Christmas. I think it's pretty. It's just wintry and soft. This one I saw it creating it myself. I'm showing you this vinyl I got from the Dollar Tree. You can see it doesn't cut as nicely. Um, I did change my Cricut to the paper setting and that seemed to help. You're going to see that it doesn't want to come off the transfer tape very well either. I think if it's a bigger project, it might work better. But with this skinny font from free from defont.com also, Ray Dunn inspired. It just doesn't seem to like that thin font. So lesson learned. I'll try it on another project. But um, at Creating Myself, she used one of the sponge brush handles, the wooden handles, to make some rolling pins. I thought, how smart is that? I wanted mine to be a little bit thicker. So I grabbed this dowel from the Dollar Tree. Oh, sorry, from Walmart in their craft section. It was like $1.96 for about two feet. And I knew I'd want to make more. So as I showed you in the beginning, I had two beads. I just painted those in crimson and I paid the, painted the dowel in white. Those are both Waverly chalk paints. I figured you know how to paint, so I wasn't gonna show you me painting that. I also used what you can see the bigger skewer there. This is a thin one. It's off of the little pumpkins from some of my fall DIYs. Again, waste not, want not. I reuse it all. But stick it on there, add a little bit of glue. And then I'm going to add the other bead on. You don't need to do this part because I end up taking it back off. What you're actually going to want to do is... Well, I trimmed this down. I thought that would be good enough, but 
it just pokes out. And so I wanted to make sure it's going to sit fat against the rolling pin. So I sit here and snip at this little thing. So I took off the bead and now I'm going to give it some good glue. The skewer just gives it something to line them up and hold them together just a little bit better. Once the glue sets with the two of these together, I'll glue it to the dowel. I hope if you've been enjoying these that you will let me know which one you like best and that you'll also hit that subscribe button so that you can see my other videos that will be coming up. Here's a little bit of baker's twine that I just tie in a shoelace bow. Oh, I think all of these turned out so nice. I hope you'll try one. Thanks so much for watching, and again, I thank all of my subscribers. You mean so much to me, and I thank you for helping me build this channel.